everyone. Today we're here in beautiful Beverly Hills, California. And we'll be getting people's opinions on current politics. Let's get into it. Let's go. Alright, we just wanted to begin by asking your overall thoughts on President Trump. Do you believe President Trump is fit to be president? Fit? That's a hard question. What are your overall thoughts on President Trump as of now? Well, do you think that President Trump is fit to be president? <laughs> you know... That's complicated. That is complicated. Um, A leader should know how to lead his people and not divide people. I'm not sure that he's someone that's going to be the right person as we move into the next world. He loves the attention. I think it uh, reminds me of a cartoon. Uh, <laughs> That's all I can say about that. I don't think he's a very good politician. I don't think he understands how government works. Fuck right. Trump, man. That dude is a piece of shit. <laughs> he's just as good as any other one. <laughs> I did not vote for him in the last election. He would have did a better job if he would have like, listened to the people. I think he needs to practice. He's divisive. I'm not sure that he's made the best choices for our country. Nobody's, I don't think anybody's been president, really. I know a lot of black people that voted for Trump. I know a lot of Spanish people have been voted for Trump, so like, for me, they're all pieces of you know what I mean? Recently, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, he allowed any late-term abortions, no matter what, even if the birth is due on the next day. Do you believe that that is a good policy? No, I do no. not believe that is a good policy. Maybe that's like uh, seven months too late. Do you believe that third trimester abortions are okay? I think that that, that is there is no doubt then that there is a child alive. Do you think that uh, a baby could be aborted for any circumstance? I believe in the women's choice. I believe that the worst thing that can happen to a child is to be unwanted. Life begins at the inception. Do not get pregnant. There are plenty of people that really would love to take care of a child. Don't get pregnant. A woman doesn't make a decision based on the fact that I do not want a child. Don't get pregnant, whatever it takes. They make a decision based on the safety of the outcome. It's a very personal decision. The government should not play a role in it. What are your thoughts on the California governor, Gavin Newsom? taking away the death penalty in California. I don't really believe in the death penalty. I do not believe in the death penalty. When I was younger, I would have said, yes, give him the death penalty. Because we have so many people that have been put to death wrongfully. Now that I've gotten older, how does that change us from being murderers? There's a more just way to deal with it, I think. They, they weren't guilty. They were innocent. The death penalty to have the power and the authority to take someone's life is very, very immense. What are your thoughts on California Governor Gavin Newsom allowing people to spread HIV without any punishment? I think you made a serious mistake. Like it's just a tad amount to murder if you don't tell a person you have HIV before you have sex with them. What are your thoughts on the Mueller investigation coming out saying that Russia hasn't collided with Trump? I think that basically it's impossible to know the truth about anything when it comes to politics. Politicians are known liars. That, that's what a politician does. That's what a lawyer does. They lie for a living. And therefore, a politician will tell you anything that they need to tell you in order to get elected. What are your thoughts on Trump's travel ban? I believe that all people should be banned right now from entering the United States. And so the point is, when you don't know who's coming into your country, and there's no way to know anymore who's coming into your country, you have to just stop all of this nonsense. You have to stop people like that from coming into the country. Listen to that noise. It's ridiculous. There are Chinese people coming in shipping containers along with all the junk they're selling. What are your thoughts on Donald Trump uh, making a border wall around the country? Around the entire country is what we need. You bring all those military personnel back to this country to defend all of these borders. You keep everybody out, you keep the people who are supposed to be here, here. You find the people who aren't supposed to be here and you send them back where they belong. What are your thoughts on President Trump backing Obama's Iran nuclear deal where Iran received hundreds of billions of dollars? Hmm. Repeat the question again? I wasn't aware so, of this part of it. President Trump backed up Obama's Iran nuclear deal 
Where? Oh, backed out of it. Backed, backed up. Backed up or backed out? Backed up. Within the past I'd, couple of months, it's I'd a thought new. It, I thought uh, he's backing out of it. Oh, you thought he's backing I'd, out of it? Didn't he just put the Iran? Good for you. Uh, the you Iran Revolution Guard. Good, good they, for they, you. They put him. He yes. Put, he, he placed him as a terrorist organization. Yes. And the Iranian Revolutionary Guard is pretty much saying there American Army should be doing the same thing. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what are your thoughts on the minimum wage being lowered to 8.63 an hour in the city of Beverly Hills taking action in 2020? I'm not I'm not for like increasing the minimum wage. Mm -hmm. Like I don't care about that. Okay. Go to college, go to school, do whatever you got to do. So that's how I feel about the minimum wage. This was announced uh, last week actually. So the Amazon owner Jeff Bezos, he's actually hiring a small militia, a private army. I heard about that. Yeah. I heard about that. Yeah. In case President Trump orders the FBI to arrest him for tax fraud because they don't see eye to eye on many things. Okay. So uh, you think the private army is a good idea? or I think or, it's bullshit. What are your thoughts on Apple admitting it to the Congress last week for uh, agreeing to sell their users' data and information to private corporations? Private? Well, if they promise to keep a promise, they should keep a promise. But when you're using Apple and Google, whatever, you're giving these people permission to use your information, mm -hmm. basically. I think it's... a. Uh, violation of privacy of all the people that we just trust in our apples uh, phones or Macs with our information what are your thoughts on president trump denying amazon to buy walmart because of fear that Wal amazon will become too powerful what do well, you think about that president trump is stupid as fuck <laughs> but i mean he's doing whatever he can do within his power so the best thing we can do is like us as democrats like i'm a democrat so the only thing we could do is when election come, we vote his ass out. Mm. As far as like right now, there's nothing we can do. What are your thoughts on President Trump denying Amazon to buy Walmart because of fear that Amazon will become way too powerful? So Amazon, actually everybody can like buy. If Amazon wants to buy Walmart or want to buy all the brands in the wars, I think they can do it. They are able to do it. And Donald Trump needs to focus in uh, the political things and not in the brands or in the economy of the mm -hmm. of the powerful brands in the United States. So I think it's, it's bad. So you think it's not in his place to have but, a decision on whether yeah, or not it's okay? He just needs to be focused in, uh, in the political of the United States, knowing in which brand buys which brand, which all brand. And that's, that's kind of uh, outside of the circle of the political. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's good that Donald Trump is finally beginning to adopt socialist policies? Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. I think the country needs a little more socialism. Yeah, not not too much, but a little bit. What are your thoughts on President Trump wanting to increase taxes by making some internet paid? I don't think you're ever going to be able to do that uh, because people are, have a tendency to f figure new stuff mm -hmm. uh, out, and so I don't I don't think it's going to be uh, I don't think it's going to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what is your opinion on, pres on former President Bill Clinton advocating on behalf of terminating NAFTA, the North American Free Trade Agreement? I don't know so much about NAFTA, but I, I, I like the idea about a politician who actually can admit that he's wrong. Mm -hmm. and say, okay, I, I made a mistake like 15 years ago. Let's make a new, better deal. Thank you all for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And a special thanks to our man, Nima, for making this all happen. Yeah. So, all right, thank you so thank much. You.